Miss Merriweather is one of our science teachers. She currently now is our department chair of our science department, and she has just brought in uh, positive energy to the to our science department. And really wanted to work hard to build the program, and she. Um, this year has has built the physics program and now we have an AP physics one and an AP physics two so super proud that you know she's has brought that energy back into our science department I liked all the lab experiments that we did so it was very hands-on so it wasn't just like taking notes and like watching all these videos and like being lost everywhere we did a lot of hands-on so it helped for people that like need that information taught that way like for me I like hands-on like this lab that we've been doing now it helps me understand what we're doing instead of just like here's this have fun <laughs> she's very helpful like she does everything I mean this past few weeks she's been studying like two to three hours every night just to make sure she knows the material and she can teach us and I just really enjoy the effort and when a teacher is putting in effort like that, it makes me want to give all my effort as well. That's such a good question. Um, I want kids to, um, that's so hard. There's so much, right? I, I want kids to love learning and to have fun in the classroom regardless of the subject. And I know not everybody's gonna go be an engineer, right? I know that and I try really hard to encourage them to go into science and engineering. Um, but I just want them to love learning and to have fun and find the joy in um, the learning process. I want them to know that they can do it, period. Like overcome that initial shock of, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm really confused. A lot of kids will shut down. They won't push past that. And so if I could, my legacy would be to help them see that they have the potential. They could solve any problem they want. All they have to do is try.